Stevenson Falls, 66-57 to Albright here at Owings Mills Gymnasium. Glenn Clark with Coach Jackie Boswell. Coach, team really fought back uh, there in the second half. How much of what happened in the first quarter do you attribute to the fact that you were trying to play without John Ye and you had a lot of players getting used to not having their leader on the floor? I mean, uh, you know, obviously when you lose your leading scorer and your second leading rebounder, uh, you know, that's tough to play, but I, I thought we worked really hard these last couple days. I mean, the last couple days of practice we were um, prepared not to play, but we weren't prepared for, and this is completely uh, on me, is we should have been prepared for the zone. We weren't. I thought that took us out of the game more than um, losing uh, John Ye right now. So uh, that's completely on me and really proud of our girls for sticking by that in the second, third, and fourth quarter and just getting it done in those quarters. I think what you're speaking to is really important. It's easy when you, when you fall behind by 17 points and 22 in the first half. It's yeah. easy to, to sort of pack it in and say today's not our day. That wasn't what you got from your team on either right. end of the floor. Right, yeah, I know. And that's a really positive thing because, you know, really without John Ye, the other thing you're missing too is some senior leadership. I mean, you have Chance out there and she's doing a great job, but she's coming off injuries too. So we were really, really young out there. I mean, we're starting a freshman and three sophomores. And the, the fight that they showed um, coming out of there, um, I could not be more happy. I know there's no such thing as a moral victory, but I'm really, really proud of how hard that they fought and, and overcame that first quarter. I thought Dania really asserted herself in particular in the second half there. Look, I think you expected out of Hannah, that's the type of player, but right. I thought Dania really stepped up and showed that she could be the type of player that could carry those types of situations too. Yeah, I totally agree. I, I thought as a group they counted. I mean, Yaz came off the bench and gave us some really fresh minutes because we were, you know, kind of tired a little bit. And I just thought everybody came in and contributed and did what they had to do, and they stuck together. And that's really important to me as a coach because moving forward, you know, they, they are our future. And, um, you know, and when I say future, I mean like next week. We're gonna we're gonna get it done like next week. We're not waiting for years. We got Tanya for the rest of the year. We got Chance still, and and we're gonna do some good things this year. There's no doubt in my mind. You say that you got one more chance on the road next week to get a conference win here yeah. before the uh, the calendar changes. What needs to happen next Saturday to go do that? Well, I think right now we just gotta rest and we gotta focus on um, our exams. You know, our kids. We have a pretty high high academic group, and um, so I just need to give them a couple days. Need them to focus on their exams, and we'll regroup on Thursday and start practicing again and, you know, we'll see where we are health-wise, and, and we just got to take the lumps as they come. Coach, we appreciate you taking the time. We won't see you until January, so uh, happy holidays, happy new year, and we'll see you then. Thank you. She's Coach Jackie Boswell. I'm Glenn Clark for GoMustangSports.com.